Welcome back guys. In today's video we'll tackle this side here. The thing is, as you can see, I have a lot of these plastic cases where I have stuff in. And I have the welding machines and the saw machines over there just tied around. And it's not working properly. So I have a plan where I will be having the welding machine to stay here. But beside that we will have a cutting machine and then we do a couple of benches. Up here we will have several shelves for all the crap that I have down here on the floor. Removing all the crap that are in the way. We need some space for new shelves. The table I'm using is normal office tables that I got. I'm removing the bottom feet so to say. The reason for that is because I'm going to cut them into pieces. I got a couple of uh, wheels that I'm going to use. Having the wheels underneath is really nifty because you can move the tables around in the shop. And as always my kids are here to help. The construction as such is that I have this bottom part where I actually stand the table on top. Starting to measure out and actually get the holes for them so. I'm cutting off the legs so the height will be correct. And a quick test and it seems to line up rather good. To get the table to the bottom part I just take a couple of angle brackets that I form around the legs and then screws to the bottom plate. Making sure that there are no paint before welding. And then just tack them into place. Some black paint on it to match it up a little bit. And screwing them into place. The screws using to attach the saw is normal M8 screws with lock nut. So nothing special but it will work just fine. I cut out the pieces for the extension between the saw and my normal table and that will be hinged so when I don't have the actual welder underneath or the table saw I can hinge this down and get more space on the side. It can also rest on the welding machine if I don't have the saw in place so that's also good. What I need to add up later on is actually a dust collection system for the saw. And I will build something around this table in the back. Something that are looking like the one that I like to make stuff build. And say hello to Isaac. My kids are generally in the shop as well. And they play around a lot. For some reason he liked to stay there and wait for the audience for I'm not sure how long. Mounting the table saw, the same procedure as you can see I did build another table for it. It's a little bit trickier to mount this one but I had a couple of screw holes that did work. The height of this table is the same as the table saw and on my other tables and that is to actually match up so I can use them alongside. I need to clean up the table and 
good practice after you have built something always clean it up and at the same time I need a space to actually mm, get all the boxes up so here I start to remove everything again because it's time for the rest I start by cutting off the pieces that is going for the shelves. I'm using a normal alpha system. They are simple and easy to get up. And in this case I'm welding them together a little bit because I only had a couple of scrap pieces. But you use what you have. To be able to hang them on the wall itself I need a couple of special brackets. Welding is nice, though always watch out for the fumes. Some white paint of course, it looks a little bit more professional. I'm relying on the shelves to hang on top of this uh, joist or whatever you want to call it and then a bottom screw as well. The weight that that above joist can take is enough so it's not a big problem. The shelves are made out of some leftover material that I had lying around. And making sure that shelves are attached so they cannot glide out. Next one and the third one. The third one was from a table. It's now time to get everything up. Box by box is getting up on the shelves. To keep this in here, we're first thinking of using one of these that clutches on. But then I need to drill and get out a rather big hole for that other end to sit. So I'm actually going to use this instead. And screwing this one from the bottom up and attaching this from the front will work really really good. So we need to mark this out. And we're going to see if we can get that one screwed into place. One there. So guys, it's now one step closer to actually having somewhere to put all my stuff. I got three shelves up, simple shelves, it works really great. I built this bench extension here that is above my welding machine. I built these two tables for the saws and this one here have the hooks to be able to tie this into the wall so it doesn't move when you are working with it. And the wheels itself can be locked of course. I'm really happy with this today. I think it looks really really good and it's a small project that still took some time to work with. I did add a sheet here that will hold the actual tools itself but currently the only thing put up is my charger for my drill machines. So basically guys, once again I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, click the link down below.